Okay, well here's a, here were my results. I it was not what I was expecting, you guys. <laughs> I gotta open this up. I gotta open this up, Mama. Nails. Look at the nails. Oh my gosh, that turned out hot. Dang, look at the outline too. Don't mind my giant gallon that thing is a water bottle. You got one too? What you got there with it? Dinos on yours? <laughs> Whoa, that is so sick. With the TV and the letters, that is like designer. <laughs> my niece I she's technically like my little sister but I'll, I'll say I'll spare you the story but <laughs> basically my niece turned me on to this because like new year we're trying to figure out like you know like how to make our bodies feel good how to get in shape blah blah, blah. um and I feel like I'm at like a healthy place right now but I am forever in a constant battle with food you guys it just like I'll eat something and it's like it triggers something and like I feel like super like uncomfortable and bloated like that's that's the whole reason that I went like gluten-free I went dairy free because I breastfed my son and he was colicky in the beginning so his pediatrician told me to cut out dairy and I did it helped him and lo and behold it kind of helped my stomach too so <laughs> so I cut out dairy and I haven't been back on it since and then with gluten I about a year after I was dairy free I went gluten free too because I just felt kind of bloated and yucky after I ate anything with gluten in it and I did notice a huge difference with that but I do think my system has other intolerances or like things that agitate it I've always had stomach issues and I thought it was just because I had went through a whole lot of different events in my life that kind of like tore at my stomach because I was on different pain medications and just different things like that car accidents wisdom teeth tonsils all that stuff and it's like they give you pain meds on pain meds for all that stuff and I just felt like it tore at my stomach because I, I didn't feel super like obviously hungry like when you're like when you're laid up you're just like tired you want to sleep all the time rest and so I felt like that was what started my stomach issues like I felt like it just tore up the lining of my stomach so I feel like I've been on this journey of trying to heal my stomach my gut like everything and dairy and gluten cutting that out has helped tremendously I feel a lot better but even as I feel like I get healthier and I put more and more healthy stuff in my diet and my routine I feel like sometimes like things trigger it so I wanted to take charge of my health and I wanted to figure out what exactly was irritating me so I got this little thing here uh, like I said, this was referred to me um, by my niece because she also has intolerances to gluten and dairy And so she's like you should try this like you'd be surprised at what you're you know Like what you're either allergic to or intolerant to or things like that. So this right here Let me show you what is in this box ah! What you guys oh my gosh, I had to let the light catch up here <laughs> But you guys so I got this right here. It is a food sensitivity test. Sorry, you can see the reflection of my ring light. And it's from this company called Everly Well. Okay, so they have like multiple different types of tests and everything. Like I said, this was just referred to me. It's nothing that was like sent or anything like that. But this is just me kind of wanting to figure out what the heck is bugging me when I eat certain things. <laughs> Um, I, I, I'm always like a gung-ho, like do everything all at once. So it's like when I start eating healthy, I like completely change up my diet. So I'm not that like process of elimination type person. So, so it's really hard for me to kind of like figure out and pinpoint what exactly is bothering me. So I figured I'd go ahead and give this a try. And my, like I said, my niece was ranting and raving about it. So basically what I'm going to have to do, I'm a little bit nervous about this part. I'm kind of sweating a little bit. <laughs> Um, I do have to prick my own finger and then I put the blood samples on the card and send it in and then they will mail me my results back So it's all done in home. Okay, so right here. It says what is measured step one is collect the sample at home Follow instructions for easy sample collection step two is send to a CLIA certified lab a board certified physician will review your results easy to understand results sent to your device in days 
So actually they don't even mail you your results it, via your mobile device. That's kind of cool. So you get even quicker results. I like that because I am one of those instant gratification people. <laughs> And step four, take the next steps, get resources and guide your health and wellness journey. Okay, so it says learn your reactivity to 96 common foods that may be causing discomfort. Okay. <laughs> what is measured? Two different kinds of eggs that it tests, dairy, five different types of things. So I'm assuming like milk, butter, cheese, like different things like that, okay? I'm assuming, I don't know. <laughs> but five different types of dairy, 11 different types of seafood, five different types of legumes, 15 different spices. I like spicy food too, so that's probably not a good thing for my stomach. 10 different grains, 20 different vegetables, seven different seeds and nuts, five different meats, and 16 different fruit. All right, so next comes the part that I don't wanna do is the finger prick. And I have no issue with like people finger pricking me. It's me having to do it to myself. I'm gonna be like, oh, three, two, one. No, mm, three, two, one. Ah! Okay, here we go. Ah! Okay, so this is how it opens. It slides open just like this. Let's get this out and see what all is in here, okay? <laughs> it already knows I'm nervous. You've got this. <laughs> okay, so here's where it shows everything that is supposed to be in here. So when you open up this side, this is <laughs> in the one that says you've got this. Um, this is where all of the, like, the alcohol pad and everything like that is. Um, I will take everything out to show you guys, but I just want to show you how it's in here. And then this is the other side that has like everything that you put your like card in and stuff like that to like mail it in. So let me take all this out. Hold on. Okay, you guys. So I do have everything laid out here and it does have everything that it's supposed to. Okay, so I am reading the instructions right now. So here we go. So, okay, they even have an instructional video. For best results, watch our collection video at yada yada prep your space fill out the card warm your hands because i always have cold hands clean the area using the alcohol prep pad use the lancet drip the blood check the card and clean up okay oh my god all right all right i'm just stalling now so okay so i created the health profile all of that i registered my kit so let's go ahead i am going to do all of these little steps that it's given me here warm up the hands wash them and then pick which finger I'm gonna prick. Ah, okay, all right, here we go, guys. We are going to go ahead and open the gauze pad here. Got my Band-Aid open, and then I will open up the alcohol pad after I get my hands washed and everything. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna run my hands under warm slash hot water and wash them, and then do also do like, I don't know, a few little jumping jacks or whatever. They said get your heart rate going. I think that helps with the blood production. That helps with the blood production. And then we're gonna put a finger. Outside the circle there <laughs> it got a little messy okay <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure because it did say to make sure that each circle is filled with blood like it's not like you know like little dots or anything like that and it also said to not like press your finger on it but just to like milk your finger for the blood sorry if you're squeamish about blood or anything like that you can x -nay at this part so now I just have to let this dry for about 30 minutes or so before I actually put it in the package it wants it to be dry and then I will slip it in this bag put it in the envelope and put the packing slip on it and then get this baby mailed out tomorrow hi hello you guys okay let's get set up here okay so we got results back okay I'm excited I was reading through it and it's really not what I was expecting kind of sort of but not really <laughs> So it has been like, so we sent the results. I actually did like putting the blood on the card, all that stuff. I did that on the 4th. That was the evening. And then the next day on the 5th, I sent the results out. Okay. So on the 10th, I got an email saying that, that they received my sample and that they were working on it. I checked back later that day and then it said that they actually had my results in. So I thought that was really quick, like from the 5th to the 10th, like, I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I, I was impressed with uh, how quick it was. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. All right, we got Asher Man helping us in the kitchen today. What are we doing? Oh, we're spinning for money. Look at that wheel. We are doing the random cash giveaway. We got a list of people here, top secret, ordering stuff, and a little thank you cards and some random cash here. Just to make it a little fun here, we'll have Asher Man spin so we can load up these cards. And thank you guys for purchasing that merch. If you do want to get included, you do have until the end of January. So please get in to get some random cash and a nice little thank you note sent right back to you guys. All right, Asher, let's spin a couple of these. What did it land on? Oh my God, that's a one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> one is better than none, I suppose, right? Load them up so we can put one in one. What else you got there? 10 for the second one. So number two on our list here is gonna get a 10. 10 there. 14. 14 is not even one of the numbers. What else you got there, big guy? And a five. All right, we are just racking them in, guys. This is a lot of fun. So we'll roll a couple more of these. You guys keep placing them 14. orders and say thank you. 14, thank you. Thank you, back to the show. So, for, for the first one here, it says step one, like understanding the difference, food allergies versus food sensitivities, okay? So here it says that the food sensitivity test you took measured your reactivity to everyday foods like yogurt, coffee, chicken, and more. So it's not like when you have an allergy, it's like, that's like deathly, like <laughs> it's not good, okay? Like you can't breathe, like thing, you know, and obviously there are more mild allergies, but it's different. Food allergies usually trigger an immediate reaction while food sensitivities are delayed reactions that can cause symptoms days after something's been eaten. So that's really what I feel like I'm experiencing because I feel like I I eat super healthy. I feel like bare minimum. Like I, even when I'm like baking things, stuff like that, like I, I don't use a whole lot of like crazy ingredients or anything. And I don't know. So that's where I was, that's why I wanted to do this whole test, okay? So then I got the email that said your results are ready. I was like, oh, I told Joe, I was like, oh my God, let's see like what it is. Like here I'm thinking like, okay, like I'm gonna have really strong reactivity to like dairy and gluten and all that. And okay, well here's what, here were my results. I It was not what I was expecting you guys. <laughs> I click on where it says, see your results on this email, okay? It says, your food sensitivity test is complete. It tells you, you know, that it tests an IgG reactivity above normal to 10 foods. Foods in the high, moderate, or mild reactivity ranges are good candidates for an elimination diet to help identify your food sensitivities. Okay, so for this next part here, you, you scroll down a little bit and it says, what's the difference between a food sensitivity and a food reactivity, okay? Because it tests your reactivity, like what your levels do when you eat certain foods. Not all foods with elevated reactivity will cause symptoms. So <laughs> that's why they have you like, they want you to do a an elimination diet after to kind of see what it really is that's causing all of your issues. Okay, so I scroll down here and it shows me, it says group by, and it says reactivity or group by food. So I was looking at the reactivity first. So it shows me my high reactivity and lo and behold, my highest reactivity was egg whites. <laughs> I, here, I'm thinking it was going to be like gluten or dairy. And my highest, like I eat eggs every day, you guys. Every day for breakfast, I have like eggs and bacon, some fruit, my like energy, like B12 energy type like drink thing that I do. Like I've cut out coffee because I've figured out that like the caffeine in the coffee or the coffee itself, like it makes me kind of crazy. <laughs> I love coffee, but I have had to eliminate it just because of what it makes me feel. I make really strong coffee, so maybe that has a factor too. <laughs> Probably eats a hole in my stomach. <laughs> just call me Lorelai Gilmore. <laughs> so my highest reactivity was egg whites. I was just shocked. I'm like, wow, okay, I like, I eat eggs all the time. Like I cook with eggs. I mean, like, yeah, I never, I don't know. I never tied two and two together. Anyway, so my moderate reactivity, the one thing it shows on moderate reactivity is almond. You guys, I use almond everything because I'm dairy free. So I use like almond flour to like make like baked goods with. I drink, I was putting almond milk in my smoothies, like almond everything. Okay. <laughs> almond yogurt, like all these things. And like, I had still been having like just some issues with like bloating and just kind of like uncomfortable. Like, I don't know. I could just tell that my stomach would get sensitive after certain things, but I never could really like narrow it down. Cause I was like, I'm eating so healthy, but it's not necessarily 
like the health of what you're eating, but it's the food itself, like if you're sensitive to it. So almond is on a moderate reactivity, okay? So I was like, okay, I guess I'll switch to, I, I've switched to oat milk thus far, and that seems to be doing okay. And then, let's see here, mild reactivity. So my mild reactivity was baker's yeast, which is in a lot of like products that have gluten in them. Um, so that's probably where I felt the sensitivity with gluten is when I was eating stuff that had baker's yeast in it. Again, it, it, you know, it could not be, but I'm just saying like, these are things, these are clues to what might be making you react, okay? Coffee, coffee's on there. <laughs> Good thing I already cut it out, otherwise I would have been like heartbroken. <laughs> Reading that, I would have been like, <laughs> Oh my god, crab, which I don't really eat that a whole lot, but I do like it on occasion. Um, egg yolk is on the mild reactivity, so <laughs> basically don't eat eggs. <laughs> Green pea, which the protein that I was that I was just taking is pea protein. And it said that if you're reactive at all to green pea, that you should stay away from pea protein. I'm like, well, what the heck else can I do? <laughs> Mustard seed which is really sad because I'm a huge mustard lover. So that's kind of sad. I hope that's not what's making me react. <laughs> peanut and soybean, okay? Peanut, I mean, I'm a peanut butter aholic, so hopefully that's not it. Um, and then soybean, like soy is in a lot of things. Like if you look at the ingredients, a lot of times, like especially if you look at like, oh, dairy and gluten-free, it's like you automatically look at the back and it says like, contains soy. <laughs> So, um, that is like that row right there of showing, showing it from the reactivity side of things. And you can actually click on like where it says egg white for my high reactivity. You can click it and show, and it shows you like the levels here. And then if you come up back up here to where it says group by, and you can click reactivity or food. If you click food, it shows you your high reactivity. So it shows like the egg white and the egg yolk together. Um, just because Obviously, like, I had a mild reactivity to the yolk, too, so it kind of grouped those together. Moderate reactivity, it, it, it actually has, this is crazy. Okay, so then it breaks it down and it shows you, like, the moderate reactivity and it shows, like, 11 different foods in this one. And then, obviously, crab was the only one that I was really, like, in that, like, next section of a little bit reactive to. Scrolling down, then it shows five foods. Cheddar cheese, cottage cheese, cow's milk, mozzarella, yogurt, all that. Um, and I actually surprisingly was not super reactive to that. Cow's milk, I was a little bit higher than like cheddar cheese, cottage cheese. So cow's milk, I was like 13, but still it's in that green range. Mozzarella was nine, yogurt seven. So honestly, I mean, with these results, that doesn't mean I'm going to put dairy back into my system. One, I felt like when I got rid of dairy, it helped my stomach issues. Like I just, I, I had terrible stomach issues <laughs> my whole life. And I just feel like when I eliminated dairy, I felt like it just eliminated a lot of my stomach issues. Recently here, I've been having more stomach issues, which is why I decided to do this test. I still don't feel like I'm going to incorporate dairy back into my system, even with these test results, just because I, I like the way I feel off of them for one and then two I feel like when since I've been dairy and gluten free I, I feel like I have been able to maintain like a healthy weight I felt like I was always constantly fluctuating like you know 10 20 pounds difference like like 140 was low for me like or uh, I, I would say like 135 was like low for me 140 was pretty average but at, at one point I was up to like 180, 185. And that was, that was, that was probably at my heaviest. And I, I felt terrible all the time. Like I was like, even before our wedding, I broke out in hives. I think it was partially stress and partially just like, I wasn't treating my body right with the foods I was putting in it. And I was, I was breaking out in hives, like crazy. Like every night I would like wake up in the middle of the night just to get in like a cold shower because my hives would itch so bad. They were welted all over my body. Like it was, it was awful. That is kind of when I, I started taking control of things and started trying to like, like eat better. And that was just like the start of my health journey. I feel like I've always been on this roller coaster of a health journey, like trying different diets and fads and different things. But without having dairy and gluten in my system, I feel like I've been able to maintain a healthy weight within like five to seven pounds range. And I've never been like that. Like I've always, like I said, fluctuated up and down, like been a roller coaster with like, like my weight and bloating and different things like that. So the fact that I am able to maintain 
and not have to like kill myself or starve myself because let's be real, I like food. <laughs> that in itself has, has been like game changer for me and that's why I'm so like adamant about like, nope, dairy gluten free, like mm -mm. So even with these results, like I'm still gonna keep on the dairy and gluten free, but I'm just gonna be a little bit more conscious about like almond obviously because that one is a little bit more reactive and then like green pea peanut soybean those are things i might be conscious about but i am going to probably do an elimination diet so i can always like update you guys and kind of let you know how that's going mainly the things i'm going to try to stay away from are eggs and almonds right now so <laughs> so yeah if you guys um try this everly well or anything like that i'll put the link down below but if you try it please let me know i am this like intrigues me so much i'm like oh my god this is so crazy <laughs> <laughs> I never would have thought eggs, but you know, we're gonna try it. We're gonna go with it We're gonna try it and we're just gonna see if it helps but past past this test right here I will probably I'm I'm going to make like just a checkup with my doctor I, I'd like to do some like, you know blood work different things like that because like I have extensions you guys but my my actual hair is so thin and like I feel like I am thinning like crazy so I will I, I don't know I just want to get some things tested like thyroid and just different things like that because like it's scary my hair getting thin like it's scary <laughs> like I'm, I told you I'm like losing my hair oh so hence why I always even if I'm going to the gym if I just run to the grocery store like like don't hate on your girl for putting her extensions in okay I like I'm very insecure about it because my hair is very thin right now. So that is why I'm trying to focus on my health because I'm like, okay, we got to get some things under control here. <sighs> so say a little prayer for your girl. Let me know if you try this out really well, anything like that, because I, or if you know of any other companies that do anything like this and stay tuned for more health updates. <laughs> All right, you guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button before you leave and we will see you guys next video. Bye.